This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I wanted today to do a video about what I think is probably one of the most versatile amps in not only the Helix but probably in the world. The Mezabugi Mark is essentially, I think the story goes that the Mezabugi, the first Mark I was, you know, sort of based around the idea of hot rodding a Fender Baseman but within a Princeton chassis and then the Mark II was a little bit closer to the Dumble ODS, which came out, I think, just before. Um, Randall Smith surmised that, uh, in fact, Alexander Howard Dumble had copied him. And I think probably there's some debate as to whether the opposite was true. Anyway, so the Mark IV, I think it's probably not worlds different to the Mark II. I wanted to just run my own IR here. Um, because then I can make the same preset on the pod go. So one way to understand this, this lead gain kind of is the amount of signal we send into the rest of the amp. So maybe we'll just start off with everything at around five. Um, so let's start off at five. I think this is probably one of the more versatile amps in the Helix. So let's just see in a short ish session what we can do with this amp. I think one of the most important things to realize is that the end of this amp, we've got not only presence, which I'm gonna put to five, but also this EQ, like the five band slider that you would find on um, the actual amp itself. So it's important to know that that is there. Otherwise you might be dialing in tones which are miles different to what you could be. So that is what makes it so versatile as well, that EQ at the end. So. You've got kind of that flubby thing going on, right? So you don't need to run the bass on at all in general with a Mark style amp. That's a bit aggressive but you can see very quickly it starts to come in. And the thing is, because we've got two kind of drive controls, we could keep things cleaner if we wanted to and sort of...
or really slam the input. It's got a really kind of sort of fuzzy quality to it as well. So if we start to increase the drive. I think I quite like having the treble around six or seven. particularly for kind of single note lines, the bass higher. is a nice touch. Right, so let's dial in a clean. So I'm gonna take this down to maybe about seven and then the drive down to about three. We hopefully can get a nice clean. Take the master down slightly as well. Okay, then I could bring in a rhythm tone where I bring things up quite a bit, so drive sort of. to just dime everything and maybe I would even bring the presence down a bit. And that's before we even touched the uh, five-way switch at the end. Um, so super easy to get some kind of cool stuff going on. I'm going to scoop the mids a little bit for the... And maybe what I'll do also to get the balance a bit better is have the channel volume down a bit lower for the drive tones and then turn it up for the cleans. That's probably a good idea to try and make it so your cleans have a bit of a better balance to them. Can make up for that level here as well right so if we take this up to i don't know 10. <laughs> right let's just to see all the deal add in a glitz and add in 
a delay, stereo dual delay, and and keep trails on. Uh, just save. But I think you might agree that that's a pretty Uh, another thing we can do is in the EQ section, if we're feeling like that's a bit of a thinner tone, we could boost the bottom end. Boost the bottom end after the preamp so I can run this bass nice and low. wanted even more uh, I think something without uh, a mid push would be quite good for this so um, something like a Timmy might be a good idea um, and at that Point, if I've got that much gain I'd probably start to bring in a high cut here just to smooth things out a bit that one there and bypass that for there so uh, let me know if you want me to drop that into the folder gumroad will be the place to get my presets if you're digging these tones and let me know if you want me to build this for podgo i will do so but that's my uh argument there i think probably i think the mark IV in the helix is probably the most versatile amp model there is <laughs> Cheers for stopping by.